guys, my name is Jayla. Today I am filming my Flawless Face Foundation routine for you all because I have came in contact with some products and I have realized that these products are the go. And it would just be selfish of me not to share them with you. So anyway. All right, so first things first, I'm starting off with the Becker Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector, okay, this. Um, for a long time I sat on this product because it was expensive to me and I was like, girl, no, not spending it on that. But y'all, I'm just gonna take a little piece, piece, a pea size amount, and I just like warm it up with my breath. Not that I got hot breath or anything, but <laughs> maybe I do, but maybe I don't. Okay, it's hot today. <laughs> and then I'm literally putting this on the spots where I only get oily, which is the tip of my nose, I fill it out a little bit. And then right up here. Mm, a little bit. Uh, uh. Get money. Uh, uh. So with this stuff, if you put this stuff all over your face where the spots that you were in the spots that you don't get oily, you will have huge dry patches on your skin and it will not look cute because I think that this is like equivalent to like milk of magnesia. Like it's that real. So you just kind of like let that dry a little bit. You'll feel it just drying up on your face. I bought these post-it notes and they the wrong kind of post-it notes. What the hell is I'm supposed to do with this? Why can't they just ever rate regular post-it notes? Huh? Dang. This not working in real life. Okay, so then I'm taking my baby skin pore eraser by Maybelline. And I'm just taking a little bit of this, and I have really big pores right here. They're just there to ruin my life. And I'm just taking a little bit, and I'm just gonna take that, and I'm gonna press it, and then I'm gonna drag it. So I'm gonna like press it into my pores. All right here. So press and drag, and press and drag, and press and drag. I think that that works better. I don't know, maybe it doesn't, but that's just me being, you know, me feeling like pressing it in there and then dragging it does some difference. I'm gonna take my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and like a couple of months ago, I would've told you that Estee Lauder was grandma makeup because my grandma Phyllis really does wear Estee Lauder makeup. Um, but this right here, this right here is like, I'm never going back to any other foundation. I love the coverage, I love the finish. I'm just never going back, ever. Ever, 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 ever. Um, only thing about this is that it's really easy to waste product because of the bottle is made. Like, it's not like a pump or like, I don't know. I should think it's just easy to put too much on your hand. But I'm taking my damn beauty blender. And I'm just going to go all around my face with this product. You gotta get up in them edges. See, I still got a little bit left on my hand. It's whack. All right, bet. So now that that is all finished, I take my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Warm Honey. Now this concealer is the GOAT, not only because it's really good concealer, but girl, it is cheap. Not cheap, it's inexpensive. How about that? And I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this right underneath. I'm not going to take a whole lot. I'm just putting it right there. And on the other side. That is too much. Okay. Okay. Well, be careful not to go up too high because then you'll have creasing. Well, I don't. That's not what I like to do. I don't like to go up too high. And I also don't like to bring it up this high because it's just my face shape. It's just, I feel like my face is not made for my highlight to go all the way up there like that. I just think it looks better when it's just under my eye. And I got a tiny forehead, so I can uh, highlight a little bit more than... I'm just gonna bring that out. Okay. 
Hey, baby. What's up? You gotta make sure your forehead get real blended because uh, now I'm gonna take my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And for a long time, I also slept on this product just because I didn't feel like ordering it. And I live in Japan, and I'm impatient, and it was $25, and I was like, eh. But I know a lot of YouTube beauty gurus have, like, codes and stuff for this. So I definitely suggest this powder if you are a chocolate girl or somebody with, you know, like, yellow or orange or undertones. It's just a really good powder. I usually take this, you know, regular sponge, and I'll go right underneath. Should I get out? Uh-oh, you're fine. I'm laying Okay. And I just pat. I'm not gonna go up on my nose a little bit. So now to contour, I'm going to take um, my MAC Studio Fix Press Powder in NW48 and my Real Techniques um, 301 brush. It's a really cute brush. I just bought it because it was cute. I mean, it works well too, but I just bought it really because it was cute. And I'm going to contour. When I contour, I have this like natural line right here and I don't like to go below that line so i like to contour up instead of like below that line if that makes sense and then i just take the edge of the brush brush and i just go down the sides of my nose I'm going to begin just sweeping everything away and blending everything out. Now I'm taking um, Max Pigment and Tan. <laughs> exactly. Will you shut up? You're messing yeah, up my video. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I was right. Okay, whatever. And I'm just taking this like pencil brush and I'm gonna put that right on my nose. Now do it in like a triangle. And on my cupid's bow. Baby, be quiet. You are making so much noise. Don't kiss me. You smell like tuna. It was chip. Still stink. All right. And that's it. I don't highlight my cheeks because I just haven't been doing that lately. Um, and yeah, this is it. This is my flawless face foundation routine. Um, and I will see you guys later. I love you. Mwah.